Welcome everyone to this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the tone mapping tool in Raw Therapy 5.8. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my image here, which is going to open it up in my image editor. And before we get started with the tone mapping, let's just add a quick automatic lens correction. And let's crop my image just slightly. A more balanced look. And then I'm also going to change my background here to a gray and I use gray because that's the easiest to determine what color is actually true. If I have this as black then my light colors might, might appear lighter and if I have this as white they might appear darker. So I'm going to just use this gray here and that mainly also because I don't want to see the top of the image. Now let's go ahead and I can see that I'm slightly overexposed if I look at my histogram here. So let me go to my exposure tab here and bring the exposure down just slightly. Okay. And now I'm going to bring the lightness up. Now one thing I want to do is use this little window down here, the open detail window. Um, so if I click this, I don't actually have to be at a one-to-one -one scale. I can see my image as a whole, but this window, and I can click in here and move it around, this window allows me to see parts of my image at a one-to-one -one scale. So you can see if you look in this window, actually let me close this here, I can decrease the size or increase the size of this window. So I want this to be at a one-to-one. -one. And the reason I have my window looking right here is I have some really dark blacks here, and then I have some light. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what happens if I increase the lightness. Let's say I wanted there to be some detail to come out where this is very dark and black. Let me increase the lightness and you can see immediately I get this, uh, I guess, a ton of noise. But also if you look here on my image where the light is, I have this halo now around my image. And this is where using tone mapping can be really helpful because tone mapping is a way of increasing the lightness in your image without getting halos. So let me go ahead and put the lightness back and let's go here to the tone mapping tool and turn it on. You can see immediately when I turn it on, some parts of my image got lighter. I turn it off. You can see right here in the dark part of this image that actually got lighter too. Now it's important to note that tone mapping does not deal with the noise. And of course, this image is very dark, so any lightening that I do is going to bring about noise. You can check out the previous tutorial on, on using Raw Therapy's noise reduction tool to take care of that stuff. So now let's go here to the strength. Okay, so now let's go here to our Raw Therapy tool. I've gone ahead and recentered my image here. And we have, let's see, five tools here. We have the strength, gamma, edge stopping, scale, and reweighting iterates. So the strength is the overall strength of the tool. And to show you this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring everything to zero. And not much has changed. If I increase this, my image gets brighter. If I decrease this, my image gets darker. Of course, if this is set to zero, then that is a base. That is a base strength. <clears throat> By default, the strength is set to 0.5. So it will lighten up just slightly your image. Maybe if we look right here, might be a little bit better. Or I can take this image and come up here. So let's go ahead and leave the strength at 0.5 for right now. What I like to do when I'm using these tools is I like to get the other settings right and then I can use the strength to dial it in. So the gamma controls whether we're lightening the shadows or the highlights. Now I've reset this to one. Watch what happens when I bring this down to 0.8 or I bring it up to 2. You can see that the image gets a little bit darker when I bring this gamma further up and if I increase the strength this will become more apparent and that's because the higher the gamma is the more that raw therapy will be looking at the shadows in the image to increase those. The lower the gamma is raw therapy looks at the highlights in the image to increase those. So you want a good balance between the two if you want to lighten your whole image. If you're only worried about the shadows then increase the gamma. If you're only worried about your highlights, then decrease it. The edge stopping determines what is considered a highlight and what is considered a shadow. And in order to determine that, Raw Therapy is going to look at the highlight. 
So if I take this edge stopping and put it at its lowest value, what's basically going on here is an unsharp mask. But watch what happens when I increase the edge stopping. As I increase it, you can see that, for instance, in this highlight right here, Raw Therapy has determined that from this highlight, it's now a shadow, and then uh, all the way until the other highlight. And so you can really add some contrast to the brightening that's going on in the image. But of course, if you add as much as I have right here, I'm just getting balls of light throughout my image, which don't look very good. So I can actually decrease that. And of course, I have my strength up super high. So whatever I do is probably going to be too much. So the scale determines what is actually going to be lightened within the scene. If you have a default scale of 0.01, then Raw Therapy will look at everything kind of the same. But if you increase the scale, that means that it looks at the pixels and determines what is light, what is dark, and using that determination will determine what should be lightened and what should not be. So if I increase the scale up here, you can see now, for instance, all of these issues right here, all of this detail right here is too small to be lightened, so it's actually darkened. Um, of course, these highlights here are all large enough, and these lights are all large enough to be lightened. You can get some really interesting looks using the scale option because it will automatically lighten or darken certain parts of the image. Now, I'm actually going to leave these settings right here because this is a great way of showing how to use the reweighting iterates. Because what I have here, it actually looks a little bit cartoony. And while the tone mapping is supposed to lighten your image, the scale function, you might notice, also looks very similar to the local contrast tool. Now, this image doesn't show it, and I wasn't able to find an image that would give me this result. But there are some images where tone mapping will actually result in a halo, even though that's not supposed to happen. And using this reweighting iterates can actually fight that. So let me go ahead and increase that here. And because this image is actually doing well, it's not uh, doing the opposite, I've actually increasing increasing this reweighting iterates has actually gone ahead and sharpened up these edges. What should be happening is that those edges were soft and they were giving my photograph kind of a look of a cartoony nature or there was haloing, there was really massive haloing going on. And so by using this reweighting iterates, that would actually stop that from happening. But on this photograph, because that wasn't happening, Actually, the opposite is going on, and I'm getting a more cartoony look than I would originally. I think right here is another great place to look and see how this edge, there's now a halo around this edge of this flower that wasn't there before. If I reset this to zero, you can see that that edge is not nearly as sharp. Now, there's still maybe a little bit of a halo, but that's because of my other settings here. So let me reset, and let's go ahead and edit this image using the tone mapping tool. So let me reset all of my values, <clears throat> and let me turn this off, turn it on. What I think needs to be raised are some of the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the gamma, maybe to something about 1.0. Now if I increase my strength quite a bit, you can see if I really increase it, you can start to see some of the trees in the background. So let me go ahead and maybe put the gamma to 1.2. I want this to be nice and sharp, so I'm going to put the edge edge stopping to 1.41, and then I'll increase the scale just slightly. I don't want it to be too much, maybe 0.35. And I'm taking a lot of time to look at my one-to-one -one here, because this is the reality of my image. I'm seeing general, general edits to the image, because I'm zoomed out to 16%. Now, of course, this doesn't look great because my strength is so high, and I put the strength that high to kind of give myself the ability to see exactly what's going on with the gamma edge stopping and scale. And now I'm going to decrease, decrease the strength. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So if I turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Now I'm going to go ahead and just increase the blacks in the image just slightly. Maybe add 50, just to bring some of that black back in there. And then I can just increase the saturation a little bit, and there you go. So I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. This tone mapping tool can be super helpful when you're lighting, when you're increasing images. 
Of course, uh, what I would do if I was really going to finish this image off was, would be go over to the noise reduction. But since you guys already watched that tutorial last time, I don't want to be redundant. Uh, if you haven't seen that tutorial, please check the link down below and go ahead and check that out because it, it's definitely worth watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time.